This is what took it that fine. Oh, that's, a, that's one of the biggest hits you'll see. That's a magnificent hit. The green is hit up on the top of the stand. And this full house, they're loving it. That's as good as you'll see. When you can hit the ball as well as that and as far as that, why would you want to be backing away and improvising? Just a full swing of the bat right through the line of the ball, a proper cricket shot, and it disappears for 12. Well, he'll only get six off Andy Simons. I'd like you to talk me through this, Tom, because you know the whacker ground really well. How big is that? It's a 12. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a huge hit. That's, that's probably gone about 50, 45, 50 metres beyond the boundary, and it looked like if the stand wasn't there, it would have kept going. I've never seen a six hit. That's the um, printable stand it was hit into. I've never seen a six hit up into that first tier, it, which is an enormous hit. The biggest hit I've seen at the Wacker was Mark Wars. That was the other end, though, wasn't at it? At the other end against Fattori. So th that was not only big as in long, but it was high as well. But uh, that one of Afridis, we all know how well he can hit the ball, but that is an incredible example of how far he can hit the ball. And uh, I can tell you there's no ground in the world that that wouldn't have been six. No, there's some long ones like the Adelaide Oval, but that would have been yeah. a six there as well.